morning people it's another new day and I'm gonna have a delicious breakfast that you can't have any of because it's all mine it's for that chicken alfredo from yesterday oh, so good so good I'm really excited about this oh and I got some some flat Pepsi left over from yesterday too lucky me that's what I got lying around here. I think I got a banana pudding around here somewhere. Where is it? Oh, it's up there. Nice. I'm gonna need a spoon for that. Chevy, that's for me. Didn't you hear me talking? It's for me. Thinks he's gonna get some of my breakfast. Oh, here's my spoon. Okay. Okay, got my spoon. My fork. I'm done my pre-trip. Got my coffee. What else do I need? Also, I need. We need to go. We need to deliver this freight. That's what we need to do. We are on time and on schedule. Finally, get to deliver this lumber. Waited all weekend because of that snowstorm. Snowstorm slowed me down, and I was supposed to deliver on Friday, right? Couldn't make it Friday, so I had to wait till Monday. Oh well. Enjoyed a nice, relaxing weekend. Got a lot of working out in. Got a lot more to do, believe me, I hear you guys. I hear you, a lot more to do, but we're making progress. That's all that matters. We're making progress and we're making an effort and uh, preparing my body for whatever this world throws at me. All right, let's, let's get out of here. Chevy, you ready to go? You feeling better? Chevy's been a little bit under the weather the last couple of days. He had, a, he had the squirts. What did you get into? What did you eat that you weren't supposed to eat? Hmm? He's feeling better this morning though. Had to wake up in the middle of the night twice to take him out. Poor guy. Poor guy, I got you buddy, I got you. I'll take care of you. I'll take care of you. Don't worry, we'll fix it up. We'll fix it. <laughs> Speaking of, your breakfast is back there waiting for you whenever you're ready for it. You're Stomach might not really want it right now, but it's there. Okay, let's reset our mileage for the day, my tripometer, so I know how far I go today, and also my fuel data. I like to uh, make sure that's reset every day so I get an, an accurate fuel read of how good my fuel economy is every day. Looks to me like it's going to be a gorgeous day. Beautiful and gorgeous, packed together into one neat little package. We call it Bogorgeous. Let's go. Lights are on. A little tug test with my trailer. Just to double, triple check, make sure it's not gonna fall off. And off we go. Let's get rid of this lumber. I really don't want it anymore. It's been weighing me down for far too long. I'm gonna go give it away to somebody who wants it. Technically, I guess we're not giving it away. We're delivering sold product to them. But I don't want it, they can have it. The sooner the better. And I still don't know what my reload's going to be. I don't know where, where they're sending me from here. In other news, Manitoba, my home province in Canada where I live, has implemented this new law that I now need a drone pilot's license to fly my drone. So if you're wondering why there hasn't been much drone footage lately, that's why. So that's a little FYI for you too if you're in the area or whatever area you're in, look into it if you have a drone before you fly it. Because you can actually face, uh, well, how big was the fine again? There was a pretty large max fine, and you can also face jail time.
while we're here delivering our lumber got all the straps off already so whenever a forklift driver has a spare moment he'll come and take these off and I still don't know what my reload's going to be yet, but I did send a message in letting them know, hey, ready for something new? Give me something. Throw something at me. Come on. Whatever they need me to do, I'm ready. As soon as they get this off, of man, this won't take long. This is just easy. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten stacks, ten lifts beautiful day I don't need this jacket on I'm hot and sweaty and I just realized that this morning when I woke up my shirt's got this big stain on it I forgot about that last night when I was eating my lasagna I spilled some on myself I can't believe I was so tired this morning and I, I just wanted to put on this old shirt just to come and unload so that I wouldn't sweat into a clean shirt right and I'll go shower after this and put on a clean shirt then right I think that makes sense I think that's reasonable forgot that that was there I was kind of embarrassed when I realized that I opened up the vlog with this big lasagna stain on my shirt jeez Chuck a jazz it's a big slob oops I apologize I tried to tell you dad I tried to tell you I just tell I was trying to tell you dad there's a stain on your shirt there's a stain well, you wouldn't listen if he's such a good boy he's a good boy Thanks for helping me get all the straps rolled up. Thank you. <laughs> I offer comfort and support and lots of kisses. Thanks. I appreciate it. You feeling better, buddy? Seems to be feeling better. Good boy. Oh, all of your hair, man. Yikes, let's leave that out there. Oh, it came back in anyway. Oh, you are one hair factory, man. It's like you make you brush him and he just more hair just appears. Look at his butt here. Look at your butt. Like, dude, man, I brushed you so many times. Springtime. I don't mind. Uh the hair doesn't really bother me that much. It I've been living with diesel every day my like for eight years, so I'm just used to it already. I mean when people come around they're like, oh wow, he's Sure is hairy. Well, I didn't even notice. I gotta clean up the hair, obviously. Uh, Britt's much better at that than me, but uh, it takes a little bit more of it to build up before I'm like, okay, okay, it's time to time to do something about this. <laughs> well, you just brush them, you do the best you can, and you love them. Like I'm not gonna not love my dog and not take him with me just because he sheds hair. It's not his fault. He's shedding. It's the weather's fault. It's the climate's fault. Let's blame everything on the climate. That's pretty pretty much what everyone does these days anyway, right? So why don't we blame this on the climate too? Makes sense to me. I just received a message back about the reload. No reload yet. So I'm glad I didn't show up here like first first thing in the morning at like 6 a.m. Otherwise I'd still be sitting here wasting my e-log away. But now they still got to get this lumber off of me here. And hopefully by that time I'll have another message. It usually doesn't take them too long. Usually like a couple of hours max. And I have a message on my computer here saying, hey, head this way. So I have faith in them. They'll, they'll figure something out. But this is why we were talking about it yesterday, right? I wanted to give them time to settle in this morning and then you know, get comfortable. It's a Monday morning. And then start finding me fright. So I was right. Didn't take long. Just about... 45 minutes and I had a message sending me over to uh, Chananoa, 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 Illinois, something like that. Picking up a big load of styrofoam insulation, I think. I think that's what it is. Super light. It's a full load. And the load lasts like, or the load weighs, pardon me, well, the load weighs like five pounds. It's gonna last me all the way to Calgary. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. I picked it up yesterday afternoon, uh, just after I was finished talking to you in that clip there. And now we're in South Beloit, Illinois. This is as far as we can go on our 14 hour clock. I was still wide awake when I stopped. I could have gone much further, but. The big old government in Washington, DC says, hey, you need to go to bed, man. It's bedtime. I did. Went to bed, I did. Now we're just
just getting back on the road the next morning. And uh, we're gonna get as close to uh, North Portal, Saskatchewan, or Portal, North Dakota as we can. That's where we're gonna cross the border. And we're gonna be in Calgary on Thursday morning. So this is a nice two and a half to three day trip. Going halfway across the continent and halfway across the country. Trying to get onto the road here now. It is nuts here, absolutely nuts. Traffic keeps getting worse and worse. Like when I started driving like long distance in 2011, oh wow, there's like no room here. Wow, this is brutal. Give him a little wave. He went out of his way to get out of my way. Thank you, driver. You didn't have to do that. I appreciate it. Merging onto the highway here. We're merging into a construction zone. And like I was just telling you, the traffic is nuts. Since 2011, when I started doing over the road, it's gotten so much worse. Like quickly. I've been driving since 2006, but until 2011, I didn't cross the border. I just drove in Canada. But man. Everything is growing so fast. The, the infrastructure can't keep up. What's up, Chevy? You sleep good? Oh man, Hoo summer has arrived. Just listen to that sound, can you hear it? The sounds of spring. The sounds of 18 wheels sailing by on the warm pavement. Oh, that guy's got a fancy trailer. Good for him. Oh, I love that sound. I love this feeling. Look how high the sun is in the sky. So summer is officially here in Southern Wisconsin, Northern Illinois. The border with Illinois is right down there. We're just at the scale, just entering, coming north into Wisconsin. And here is my load. That's called a smoke tarp on the front of it. And what that does is, since this is very light material, very light, like styrofoam material, Going down the highway over a long period of time, the wind would catch this and rip it open on the front and then it damages the freight. So that keeps the wind from ripping the freight apart in the front and then it sails around the load and then you don't need it on the rest of the load because there's nothing for the wind to catch on really. And it's all the way down here, all the way down here. All the way back here. And this here is just here nice and tight, <clears throat> just to keep the load from uh, slipping back because it's literally the load is like five pounds. Uh, it can't be much more than a couple hundred pounds. And the wind might push the entire load back over time. So we put this here just to stop it from sliding back. That's the load. We're gonna get excellent fuel economy all the way to Calgary. I'm very excited about that. It's an excellent load to pull. I'm very happy with it. So it's gonna be a good, well, two and a half days. It's 2,700 kilometers approximately from where I was. That's uh, 27 hours of driving, which would be like 2,700, like 600, 1,200 plus, oh, 600. Let's say 23, 2,500 miles, so uh, somewhere in there. So it'll be a good trip, I'm, I'm happy with it. So we're gonna continue this tomorrow. Uh, thanks for tuning in today. Dropped off the lumber, picked this up, and tomorrow we'll be sailing on our way west. And hopefully, wind will be on our side, or wind will be behind us pushing us, and maybe we'll use little to no fuel getting all the way there. I did tell you, right, like last month, I, I finally got the results in my pay stubs and whatnot from last month when I started doing this fuel saving and fuel economy thing and wow does it ever save you a lot of money if you just don't idle your truck as much shut it off for night get a bunk heater or an APU stay cool in the summertime and slow her down 
I do 95 kilometers an hour or 60 miles an hour. Saves you tremendous amounts of fuel. Tremendous. Like over $1,000 of fuel I save. I mean, for me, it all goes back to the carbon tax. So really, I'm putting all this effort in. And this, I, I started doing this before the carbon tax was released. I didn't realize that it was all just going to go back to the government. So I'm not gaining anything off doing this, but that's a story for another time. Take care, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm excited for this trip. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. There's still a lot of you that aren't subscribed. <laughs>